Welcome back to uh, Got Wire. Today, I have something really cool that Trend Networks was nice enough to send over for me to review. They didn't pay me anything. They just sent me this to review and they let me use the splicer here to demonstrate it. And after I get done, I have to send the splicer back. But this is their crimp tool kit. It's the R301 crimp kit. And overseas, instead of using heat shrink, they use crimp connectors to cover up the splice and protect the splice. And it works just how it sounds. It crimps over the fiber and you put the splice in the middle and it has pads on the inside of this metal and then just crimp over the splice versus what we normally use here in the States, which is heat shrink tubes. Uh, these are 60 millimeter heat shrink tubes. And this is what I use at work. I splice fiber every day at my job. So we use these heat shrink tubes all over the United States. But overseas, they like using these crimp sleeves, I guess, better than these heat shrink tubes. I guess because you don't have to wait for these uh, crimp sleeves to cool off after you crimp it down. These, you have to wait a couple seconds to cool off. And if you don't wait for them to cool off, it'll pierce the plastic into the splice and it can ruin the splice. So we'll go ahead and get this unboxed here. This is really cool. It just clips to the back of the splicer here on these two ports right here. And on the front, it has a United Kingdom flag and a German flag. So I'm assuming that's where they use it the most. You have instructions here. It tells you how to use it. You get some crimp sleeves here. Looks like they give you 10 to start out with. You get the tool here. You just press it down and it crimps in the center there. And then you get the metal bracket that you can use to hang on the back of the splicer. And then this just sets on it. So it sits right up next to where your heat shrink door is. So if you're not using the heat shrink door, it's just right behind it. You put it in there, press down on here, and it crimps it on the fiber. And I'll show you it in action once I get the splicer all set up here. And like I said, you just take this bracket here, clips on like that. Then you take the crimp tool and it just sets on there like that. And then you can press down on it and it crimps it closed. And I'll get you a closer look at these here in a second. Here's what they look like close up and I'll go ahead and open up this package and show you where the fiber goes. So here's a better view. That's the open part of this crimp sleeve. And then if you pick it up, there's the bottom part, there's the open part, and it looks like it has little pads on the inside that help protect the splice when it crimps down. And this is what it looks like when you have it in the tool, and then you just take it from where it spliced it into here, and then you press down and it crimps over the fiber. So I'll get some fiber ready and I'll show you this in action here in a second. I got that welded together. And the best part about these is you don't have to worry about forgetting the heat shrink because you just plop it in there. So you don't have to worry about putting on the heat shrink anymore, which is nice. So you undo these and then you just take your splice. And I might have to use two hands off to set you up on the tripod, but you stick it in there and then you press down on either side and it clamps down on the weight and protects the splice. So I'll get my tripod set up and show you this in action. I got it spliced, so all you have to do is set it down in here. And once you set it down in there, you just press down on here. And then there you go. It's all crimped on and protected. And you don't ever have to worry about forgetting to put these on ever again. So in my opinion, these are pretty cool. I'm not sure why we're not using them uh, over here in the States. And you know, once you use something, you get comfortable with it. You don't want to change. But I really like these, especially the fact that you don't have to worry about sticking them on before you splice. Because I always get told the best splice you'll ever do is where you forget to put heat shrink on. But I guess if you had these on hand and you forget get to put heat shrink on you can just put one of these on and it'll still protect it and trend networks tool here makes it really easy to put these on i really like how it just clips on to the back of their splicer that way it's just as convenient as the heater on the splicer so you could you know use both these in certain situations and heat shrink in certain situations and if you ever worked out in the field it's always good to have options because sometimes out in the field you're working with real short fiber like you said, you forget to put the heat shrink on and you're dealing with like half an inch of slack and you can't redo it. So if you had these and you, know, you could just throw this on and it'd still be protected and you won't have to worry about, you know, the short fiber, you know, what do I do now? I forgot the heat shrink. If you work with fiber all the time, I would strongly suggest to get some of these on your truck 
because anything you have out in the field is always good because I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. But this R301 crimp toolkit from Trend Networks is really cool. It's really well made. I like how it feels. It doesn't feel like cheap piece of junk. But if you're a splicer here in the States and you've never heard of these, I'll try to see if I can find some and link them down in the description. But I couldn't track any down. I'd have Trend Network send me some, but I'll see if I can link them down in the description if you want to buy these and try them out yourself. But I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. So if you're not subscribed, I'd really appreciate it if you went down there and hit that subscribe button. Trend Networks was really gracious enough to provide this for a giveaway once I hit a thousand subscribers. It says they're POE Pro ethernet tester and once i hit a thousand subscribers i'll make a video about it and i'll tell you guys how to enter in to have a chance to win this but thanks for watching i'm adam and i'll see you guys on the next one